part A of this, uh, you want to find delta G standard. And it gives you a little bit of information. Uh, it gives you the delta G formation values. Let me move this over. You want to find delta G standard. It gives you a couple of these values, which are extremely helpful. Uh, it says this is zero. It says the H plus is zero. It says the H2 is zero. And it says this one is minus 147.1 kilojoules per mole. Why are the zeros there? They're elemental. The delta G and delta H are the same. If anything's in its elemental state, it'll be zeros. Okay, zinc 2 plus aqueous is not elemental state. So we would say find delta G standard. That's the products minus the reactants. So we've got, um, is this balanced? Yeah, okay, it's balanced. So we got one zinc at minus 147.1 plus one H2 at zero minus, or yeah, minus the sum of the reactants, which is one zinc solid at zero plus two H pluses at zero. So a lot of this is just going to be irrelevant, but you do get delta G standard at minus 147.1 kilojoules. The moles drop out because the coefficients are units of moles. That's part A. Part B. Part B, they want delta G now. Notice the difference. Delta G and delta G standard are not the same. So now we want delta G. There's really only one formula. So before I even tell you to stop, there's only one formula possible. Uh, given these coefficients plus R, delta G plus RT, ln Q. The only one other one is delta H minus T delta S, but you're not given entropy and you're not given enthalpy. So it has to be this equation. There's no other possible one. Uh, we already have delta G. It's that number right there. So part A was delta G. If you didn't get part A, you are in big trouble on this question. R is a constant, 8.3145 joules per mole Kelvin. T is given, it's 25C or 298K. So temperature has to be in Kelvin. R, you got to use the one with the joules. Uh, let's see, Q is the only thing left over. Q. Uh, this one is a weird one, a little bit, so I'll just forewarn you as I'm writing this down. Uh, because it's going to mix the gas state pressures with uh, liquids, aqueous states, with concentrations. Uh, so I didn't teach this per se, so you wouldn't have something like this on your final. But I'm just going to go through with the problem. Somebody wrote this who I didn't. I didn't write this one. Okay, so it would just be the products of zinc 2 plus times the partial pressure of H2 divided by H plus squared. And you really get into this more when you take Chem 2C. First chapter 2C is this stuff. Uh, but it can be explained because the activities normalize everything to turn everything into an activity. Anyways, let's plug in. Okay, what's given? All these values are given in the question. So it tells you that the zinc 2 plus concentration is 0 0.10 molar. It tells you that the partial pressure of H2 is 0 0.933. And it tells you that the H plus concentration, I think, Oh, no. Is that H plus? Part C. They give you 750. Oh, did I write the wrong thing? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. So this one is uh, 750 millimeters of mercury. I should change out to atmospheres whenever I do a KP. So divide by 760. This one, I wrote down the wrong number. It's, oh, is that one right? Yes. That was actually the only thing correct. One point, 0.10. 
divided by H plus concentration 1.0 times 10 to the minus 4. Q is going to end up being a num that number. Oh, and I have to square this because H plus is squared. There's two H pluses. And so this is Q. You're going to get a delta G equal to minus 107.2 kilojoules. You'll want to remember something. You can do this a couple different ways. You need to convert this usually into joules because R is in joules. So it's the same unit. That will always happen. Almost always probably. And what they did, they just converted back. You could have left the answer in joules because it doesn't require you to, for a particular energy unit. Okay, then part C is really a variant of part B. So for part C, it says, it wants to know the pH and it gives you all these numbers. Well, if you look at this equation that I already wrote down, it gives you delta G. I'll write it down right here. It gives you delta G as minus 100 kilojoules. Delta G standard, that doesn't change. It's not going to change unless you change some funky conditions. So uh, that's still minus 147.1 kilojoules. R and T are not changing. The only thing that really changes in this question is Q. Let me rewrite Q. Zinc 2 plus times the partial pressure of H2 divided by H plus concentration. So what they tell you in the question, this is given zinc 2 plus is 0 0.220 molar. It gives you the partial pressure of H2 is 0 0.933 atmospheres. And let's see what else is given here. That's about it. It wants pH. Well, you notice here's where pH is. This is 10 to the minus pH is H plus. So when they really want you to solve for H plus. And this big equation right here, they really the answer is hidden inside Q. So you solve for Q. Q is this expression. You solve for H plus which is 10 to the minus pH, or if you take the negative log of H plus, you'll find pH. And that's how they want you to solve this question. I would make sure that you can do this mathematically on your calculator. Yeah? Would the H plus be squared? Oh yeah, thanks. Squared, I've just miscopied from down here. It's definitely squared because there's two here. Excellent. So you're solving for pH? You're, you want pH, and to get that from this equation, you're solving for H+. Plus. So once you have H+, plus, pH is minus the log of H+. Plus. So you're solving for this value inside of Q, and then you take the negative log of it, and that's your answer. How do you solve for it? Do you know what the Q is? Or? Q, well, you know delta G, uh -huh. you know delta G standard, you know R and T, solve for Q. That'll be a number. Uh -huh. And then so you know Q now. Okay, so you And you know this and this. Oh, okay. for, Yeah. Again, make sure you can do this on your calculator. You, know, you don't want to, if you get a question like this, it can be painful if you're learning during the final how to use your calculator. 